Good morning, guys. I am in sunny Naples, Florida at Pelican Lake Resort, which is an amazing place to be, especially this time of year. My daughter is at home and she said it's going to be five degrees tomorrow, so God bless her. But uh, anyway, we're here to talk about a really super cool coach the guys have just finished and brought down to me. Uh, they brought me an amazing front door, which Andrew Steele and I did a video on. It is sold and already back at the factory getting ready for the new owner. And the guys brought me this. This is a 2022 center entry quad slide with a bath and a half, and it is so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys what we got here. Check this out. This one has one of the prettiest paint schemes I've ever seen. I just love the white accents and the bright blue and the black mask over the windows looks super cool. Having the palm trees in the background doesn't hurt a single thing. Since we're here anyway, take a look at Pelican Lake. This is one of my favorite places to go in the whole world. bays lay out a little differently on a center entry coach to allow for a large number four slide. It has three bays with remote control trays instead of two like in a front door coach. The plumbing bay is forward of the door and as always it has the big television on the outside of it with the aqua hot pumps, tanks and filters back behind it and then the entry door, and then another pass-through storage bay, and then fuel and batteries. What we've done here is, right here is where the traditional plumbing bay would be. If we put it there, then it forces the door forward into this next bay, which makes for a very short number four slide. So on the center entry coaches, we've moved the plumbing bay forward allowing for a very close to 14 foot slide over here. This particular coach has a 14 foot, 30 inch deep slide on this side and a 16 on the other side, which is really sharp, makes a huge living room. As always, we have 200 gallons of fuel. You can fill from both sides, six AGM batteries for the house and three for the chassis. chrome plated wheels. Those always look so nice. That's just soap and water. I didn't have to polish them or anything. And as always, the detailed out engine bay. With all the chrome and polished stainless, I love that thing. So this is what she looks like coming down the road towards you. This is our generator compartment. It goes obviously in the front cap in a sealed quiet box. Uh, it's a 20 kilowatt four cylinder turbocharged generator which would make a tremendous amount of noise if we didn't seal it up like we do. And then we also, to further insulate you from it, we make it ride on an air ride chassis. These little airbags down here absorb the vibrations from this big of a unit and make sure the coach doesn't vibrate while you're using the generator. It also has its own built-in halon fire suppression system, which cuts the fuel to the unit should it discharge and makes it just really a pretty bulletproof unit.
this bay has our chassis fuse box in it and your primary and backup air compressors. Air pressure is very important on a Newell coach. You need it for leveling, to operate the interior doors as well as the exterior door, and all of the slides are sealed with air. So it's super crucial that we have reliable air pressure. So these are set up with the switch there in the center that allows you to switch between primary and backup air compressor as you need to. We also put a outlet here for charging your golf cart with a floor port to get the cord up through, which is nice. Then you don't have to run a extension cord all the way back to the side of the coach to plug in. don't have room to show you anything on this side of the coach because I'm shooting in the service shop or the manufacturing facility but out here I have plenty of room so I thought I'd show you so these two are the front two pass-through storage bays that I showed you from the other side and then next one back is the plumbing bay which I have been doing this for 32 years at this point this is the best designed plumbing bay I've ever come across the sewer hose stays attached to the coach the whole time so you don't have to rinse and stow. It's got 20 foot of hose on it and there's another 20 foot extension that can twist locked to it. The hose is on a power cord reel. There's a hand wash area. It's all sealed so that even when the hoses are deployed you can't get rodents inside the coach. It has a manifold system that allows you to shut off each individual faucet inside. So if you have a leak, you can turn it off and still use the rest of the coach. The monitor panel there allows you to run outside functions, um, lights, tank dumps, that sort of thing, all from that panel. Most of the time you would dump the coach from inside. On that note, I should go back up here this box, we call this the care package. It's got extra filters, belts, hoses, light bulbs, fuses, all the stuff we can think of you might need on the road and wouldn't be able to readily find. There's also uh, warning triangles should you need them on the side of the road, adapters for the towing equipment, extra ceramic detail spray for patch ups, and the black thing right there in the center, that's a little anvil we make that goes down over the sewer hose to make sure it stays in place when you dump from inside. The blue filters here are the deionized water filters that uh, the pressure washer works through. So when you're finished washing, you can rinse spot free and not have to dry the coach. Back to the plumbing bay here. This is your primary water pump. It's a 110 volt that'll make 60 PSI to every faucet in the coach simultaneously if necessary. And then there is a backup water pump up here on the wall. Uh, that one is good for if you're dry camping, it doesn't run through water as fast as the big one does. Um, it's also a nice backup should something ever happen to the big one. This is the, electric, the electronics bay here. This tray slides out, it has storage on it. And then you can remove this and lie down on it like a creeper and slide back in to check fuses, breakers, and that sort of thing. And then we have another pass through storage bay here. and then the driver's side fuel and death fill. Our upholstery shop makes a neat little bib here so that you can move it over and put it on the diesel tank while you're filling and not get diesel drips on the stainless and the same thing over on the, uh, on the death tank. I really love that, that stuff is nasty and I don't like to get it on the stainless. We also always do a camera on both fuel doors which helps you line up with the, um, with the pumps and not have to have any guesswork on that. I usually line up off of the death pump because that's the hose that's the roughest to deal with. Uh, 
Okay, I've just got a few minutes before my show starts, but I really want you guys to see the inside of this thing. The first thing that hit me when I saw it yesterday was look at that tile work on the stairs. These tile guys are just amazing. Also, the center entry coaches have a retractable screen door, which is really cool, especially in Florida. All right, let's have a look in this girl. This is an extendable dinette. It seats six people when it's out. This is a new recliner we've been using, which is super comfortable. It's got a little workstation next to it there with the Alexa that we use to control the coach. Here's a look at the galley storage. This coach has nine feet of countertop and lots of doors and drawers. <clears throat> this first one is the trash can drawer and it has storage behind it for cleaning supplies. <clears throat> and the big cabinet behind that, a Blanco sink with a built-in garbage disposal. Nice overhead space. This is a Wolf induction range two burner. We offer options there, but the two burner is the most popular. And then more drawers and a dishwasher. We will often build organizers into these large flatter drawers for utensils, cooking utensils and silverware. side of the refrigerator. We have wine glass storage and rocks glass storage over the door, which is really pretty. The girls put a pug in there for me, which I always appreciate. storage is really nice. I have my computer gear in one of them and the stuff for the central back, all of the attachments are on this one. It also has a toe kick which I really like because I can very quickly in between client visits use a Swiffer and just sweep everything over to the toe kick and it sucks it out. And then the workstation has a nice set of drawers with file cabinets. So on a center entry coach, we do a step cover, which comes out to cover this while you're using the coach. And it is made strong enough that you can stand on it and get to your wine glass cabinet easily. It's quiet, it's smooth, and it's very effective just back from that and this is one of the things I know I've said it before but this is one of the things that I love about a center door when you come in this door from outside livings people ask me literally all day long what in the world why would you do a center door 
Well, here's the thing. You come in from outdoor living, which let's face it, that's what these things are for. Your outdoor kitchen and everything out there. You come immediately in. There's a half bathroom here, which by the way is a knockout. Look at the tile work on the wall. So you come in from the outside, you're just immediately at your half bathroom. Facing you as you come up the stairs, pantry and refrigerator. Yes, I know that looks like a bachelor fridge, but that's how I live while I'm on the road. So everything you need when you're uh, when you're out is just immediately inside the door. You're not having to go around the, the driver's and passenger seat and walk all the way through the coach. You literally come right in at the galley. So you can take a right and go to the galley in the living room or take a left and come back to an absolutely beautiful bedroom. And look at the view here. Okay, here's what the bedroom storage looks like. You got a double hanging closet here. Have some really nice sized drawers in the bureau. You have more drawers and another hanging closet over here. Another smaller closet by the bed. We usually call it a shirt locker or a jacket closet. It has drawers down below. This is the AV cabinets, which I will show you how that works here in just a little bit. And then there is another shirt locker on the other side. There are nightstands on both sides of the bed with sufficient size for a CPAP machine if you need one and plugs for that. And then this one has drawers down below too. And then as always, our bed mechanisms. This is a powered lift and there's a lot of storage under there. These are the inserts for the dinettes. We call them bolsters. So when you extend the dinette fully out, that's what you put in the, uh, in the slot where they go. Okay, first up, washer and dryer is back here. We did a top load washer, front load dryer because of the smaller space there. It's easier to maneuver moving clothes from the dryer up to the washer. You know, I also want to show you this. We have a guy who makes the most beautiful pocket doors I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. That is like a sound deadening padded fabric and it's just gorgeous. Okay, back to business here. So we have a clothes hamper with a closet up above it. Can't really see it from this angle. And then lots of drawer space. Lots of med medicine cabinet space. We put 110 volt plugs in one of the medicine cabinets so that you can leave razors and toothbrushes on the charger in there, which is really nice. This is a closet here. It's got about four and a half feet of hanging in this, a total of about nine feet. And then nice drawers. So I am Brian Pitts. This coach was coach 1718. It's a 2022 center entry. This video and a lot of others are on my YouTube channel, which is called Newell Coach Info. 
I'd really love to see you guys have a look at those and give me some feedback on what I can do better. Thanks for watching.